Hello and welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today I am going to talk about degree of parallelism. So do you are you aware as to where this option comes in document understanding degree of parallelism and what is the usage of this? So let's see that. First of all, let's before we get an explanation, let's understand in the document understanding process after load taxonomy you digitize the documents and during the digitization what you utilize is a omni page ocr or right to digitize and convert that document into text format during that if you look at the property you will find degree of parallelism so what is the meaning of it and what is the meaning of minus 1 why the minus 1 is written so let's understand everything in detail so before we could understand this particular specific option we have to first understand about uh, there is something called logical processors for example if i give you a small diagram so let's say this is a processor with four cores or quad cores right one processor with four different cores and why this are kept this is for it enables you to do a parallel processing imagine you have multiple pages let's say one pdf document you are passing one document but in that one document there could be 10 pages there could be three pages there could be four pages and even it could be one page so depends sometimes if there are multiple pages then you require all the pages to be at a time parallelly to be processed so what is the meaning of this degree of parallelism let me tell you if you want to process as many pages in parallel you can set the value to minus 1 that means it will process in parallel number of pages equal to the number of available cpu cores minus 1 so for example in your uh, laptop let's say to make it simple in your laptop let's say there are four as of now because you have you have opened couple of applications and already one processor is currently utilized for couple of applications that you have already opened so it is utilizing one processor right now the available number of processors are three let's say if only three processors are or the cores are available if the three logical processors are available out of that three minus one it will not utilize all of them it will just whatever available cpu cores minus one so let's say three logical processors or the cpu cores are available out of that will minus so there are only two so it will utilize the two logical processor from your laptop and try to in parallel it will try to convert that into text format okay so that means it is utilizing available cores let's say you have opened no application and all the four processors or the four cores are available so minus one so it will utilize the three processors that is available right and will start utilizing so that is the meaning so if you put minus one that means it is going to utilize the maximum number of cores that is available minus one that is the meaning if you put one let's say instead of minus one you are simply mentioning one so if you put one what would happen or if you put two what would happen that means you are directly telling you are directly telling to utilize only two even though there are four cores are available utilize only two processes at a time getting it if you are mentioning three let's say i'm mentioning six so if you are mentioning six it is not going to really because there are only four cores available so what would happen it will only do the maximum it can utilize is available cores minus one so let's say four is always available so it will only utilize three so it doesn't matter whatever numbers you are putting it over here it will only utilize the maximum possible but if you put one even though there are three available it will only utilize only one processor let's say something else is running in the parallel some other application running and you need and that is becoming slow and you don't want this to be very important so you can always set to one that means even though there are three available it will only utilize one so that is the meaning of degree of parallelism and how do you get this understanding if you you know keep the mouse pointer on this so you get an explanation number of pages to be ocr in parallel a means if you put minus 1 a minus 1 value indicates the operation will executed on available logical processor count minus 1 what i just explained a positive value n will execute the operation on n logical processors for example if you put 1 it will execute on one processor okay no greater than logical processor counter minus 1 that means it's telling if it is logical processors or the cores only 4 is available minus 1 is equal to 3 if you are putting 1 
if you are putting 4 then it is not going to utilize 4 processor it is always no it, there is a condition ok if you look at this I am not able to highlight but again no greater than logical processor so minus 1 so if 4 is available it cannot go beyond 3 if you are putting beyond 3 it is not going to work getting it so that is the meaning of degree of parallelism so in simple words to keep it minus 1 if you keep it minus 1 it is going to utilize the maximum available processors whatever is available it is going to utilize minus 1 ok so it the best is to keep as it is so that's why the by default you will find minus 1 in case for some reason in your production you want it to be utilized less number of processors then you can always set but you need to know how many logical processors are available and just keep it below that one below that let's say three are available four are available or eight are available ten are available four so whatever the numbers are available as, as of now depending on the utilization you keep it below that okay so minus one is to utilize the maximum possibility so thank you so much for this video i hope you got an understanding of what are this core processor what is this logical processors means right so what is the meaning of this degree of parallelism so you must have understood so thank you for watching and we will come up with some more interesting contents for you to help you to become a RPA developer and I would recommend you to go through all the videos that I am creating on, on the channel. Try to go through all of them because there are a lot of knowledge which is thus just stored in the video and you need to open the doors by watching the videos and understand and capture those knowledges. So thank you so much guys and I hope I am helping you in your journey. So please continue, do subscribe and do like all our videos that you are watching and do comment because I do read your comments almost daily. So thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye.